Well, Senator Elizabeth Warren's wealth tax is back. She's proposing a bill that would impose an annual 2% tax on every dollar over $50 million. Then 3% on fortunes worth more than a billion dollars. That's every year. The proposal would reportedly cost the 100 richest Americans about $78 billion. And check this out. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos would pay $5.4 billion alone. Elon Musk would pay $5.4 billion. Bill Gates, $4.1 billion. And Mark Zuckerberg, a paltry $3 billion in taxes. That's $3 billion in taxes, folks. So let's talk about this. Joining us now, David Bonson, founder and managing partner of the Bonson Group. I think the best way to raise more revenues from the rich or the non-rich, but particularly the wealthiest people, David, is to lower their tax rates. That's my counter view to Elizabeth. I could say to Elizabeth, um, Senator, okay, you think you need more revenues. I have a different plan. Instead of raising their taxes, I would cut their tax rates and the life curve would kick in. What do you say, Mr. Bonson? You have this incredible idea that incentives work. <laughs> and and that you when you tax more of something you get less of it and when you cut taxes you get more of it and and, and I think at the end of the day uh, Liz must have read my chapter in my Elizabeth Warren book because she's got all of my my points beautifully <laughs> encapsulated it is unconstitutional by the way it most certainly <laughs> does not capture the revenue they say but Larry to your point the incentives are all wrong. If you want more taxes, you don't tax the wealth base. You want more incentive for people to create more wealth. And we can talk all day long about Bezos and Elon Musk and what they try to use as extreme examples. Last I checked, by the way, Musk and Bezos have employed a lot of people and mm. done a lot of good for the American economy. But even apart from that, what about all the family business owners that might have a $55 million net worth, own a chain of car washes or, or restaurants or privately held businesses? The incentives for this thing are terrible. Well said. I agree. You're both right.